Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be assembling this spindle, and I'm gonna take you through the fabrication, and then when that's done, I'll take you through and we'll talk about a couple things on the spindle.
So the last thing that you saw me doing there was sandblasting, and the reason I do that is this has a lot of little tiny nooks and crannies that I'd never be able to get in there with my chipping hammer or with a brush or anything. So when I'm in a situation like that, I just take my sandblaster and just sandblast in some of these areas, and it really just blasts it nice and clean. It blasts most of the welding debris out of there, and then it's, uh, it's in good shape for some paint. You'll also notice on here that I have um, the caliper mounted on this one, but I also, ooh, this thing is heavy, but I also added tabs on the other side. So I've got tabs to mount a caliper over here. I also have tabs to mount a caliper over here. The reason I'm doing that is I want to have the option to be able to run a caliper for the rear brakes and a separate caliper for the turning brake should I want to set it up that way. I don't know if I'm going to, but you know, if I didn't have these tabs on here, I wouldn't have the option to do that, and I do want the option to do that, so I added those tabs on there. The tabs for the calipers are 3 eighths of an inch thick. That's pretty thick, but I usually try to build the components of my braking system a little bit overkill, just so that I don't have to worry about these tabs bending or breaking off or anything like that. So these spindles are quite a bit more substantial than the ones on Mahler. I was a little worried that I was making them a little bit overkill, but you know, everything that I'm doing on Ratchet is a, a lot stronger and beefier than Mahler, so it makes sense that I had to make this with more supports and out of thicker material than I did on Mahler. The downside is every time you do that, you end up adding more and more weight to the vehicle, so it's going to be interesting when Ratchet is up and running, I will weigh Ratchet and I'll weigh, weigh Mahler and I'll compare the two and see how much extra weight doing stuff like this has given me. And then when I was welding this together, I had those spacers that I bolted in here, bolted in here. I did not unbolt that until I was done welding up the, uh, the spindle so that these couldn't close up at all. And the top there is just wide enough for my 7 eighths heim to go in there. And then the bottom is just wide enough for my uniball and the cup to go in there. So that's how I had established how wide those need to be. So that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you me welding up the spindles since I did make the changes and had the new metal cut. Uh, now these are good to go. I'm really happy with these. So the next thing that I'll be working on on Ratchet is the lower control arms for the rear suspension. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it's helping you with whatever you're working on or at least just giving you some entertainment. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.